Government of Nepal established Alternative Energy Promotion Center, AEPC, a semi-autonomous agency governed by the Alternative Energy Promotion Development Board on 3rd November 1996 as the focal agency for promotion and development of renewable energy technologies in the country. The center has been mandated to advise Government of Nepal for policy and plan formulation in the areas of rural energy sector, resource mobilization, coordination, and quality assurance of various components within the RE sector. Objectives The objectives of AEPC are to improve the living standard of rural people through development and promotion of a renewable energy sector, to popularize and promote the use of renewable energy sector, to protect the environment, to increase employment opportunities. Scope of AEPC includes promotion of technologies like mini micro pico hydro, improved water mills, solar energy, photovoltaic and thermal, bioenergy, wind energy, energy efficiency, climate change mitigation. Working modality. AEPC works in public-private partnership modality by engaging Government of Nepal agencies, local level government organizations, non-government organizations, financial institutions, private firms, business associations, user groups and other networks, ultimately providing clean energy technologies, solutions and services to the end users, that is, primarily people living in the rural areas of the country. AEPC has been implementing the National Rural and Renewable Energy Program NRREP as one window service for all technology promotion since July 2012. This five-year national framework program follows the single program modality. AEPC is currently implementing different projects under NRREP framework, namely Renewable Energy for Rural Livelihood RERL Program, South Asia Sub-Regional Economic Cooperation SASEC, Scaling Up Renewable Energy Program SREP, Clean Start, Pro Poor PPP Initiative 5P, Kabeli Transmission Line Project. In the past, AEPC has implemented a number of programs and projects including Biogas Support Program BSP, Rural Energy Development Program REDP, Energy Sector Assistance Program ESAP, Renewable Energy Project REP, Improved Water Mills Program IWMP, Solar and Wind Energy Resource Assessment SWERA. These programs are supported by the Government of Nepal and a number of external development partners. AEPC has also been instrumental in formation of policies and institutional frameworks as Rural Energy Policy 2006, Renewable Energy Subsidy Policy 2073, Renewable Energy Subsidy Delivery Mechanism 2073, Urban Solar Energy System Subsidy and Loan Mobilization Directives 2072, Subsidy and Delivery Mechanism of Institutional Solar System 2070, Subsidy Delivery Mechanism on Additional Financial Support to MHPs 2070, Guidelines, Technical Standards and Manuals. AEPC has taken a decentralized approach for development of renewable systems in Nepal. Projects are identified at the local level following district development committee's bottom-up planning process. Institutional development of RE sector has been addressed by Establishment of District, Environment, Energy and Climate Change Section DEECCS under district development committee's DDCs. 
Establishment of District Energy Fund, DEF. Formation of community-based organizations for operation and management of promoted rural energy systems at the community level. Support for regional service centers, RSCs, for wider service delivery and promotion of energy systems at the local level. Progress at a glance. The historical trend of overall energy consumption in Nepal show that the share of renewable energy in the overall energy mix has increased from lowly 0.15% before the establishment of AEPC to 2.67% over the 20 years of AEPC existence, which is a growth of more than 1,500%. As a result of AEPC's efforts through its past and ongoing programs, a cumulative number of 3.6 million households in Nepal have been benefited through various kinds of renewable energy technologies. Programs promoted by AEPC have been effectively making a big difference in the lives of many people in Nepal. Our year has been very good for 100 kilowatts. We have been able to get the water from the water to the water. We have been able to get the water from the water to 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 the water. Capitalizing on the supply of steady electricity, Local entrepreneurs of a remote village, Karbang, have started all sorts of business activities. They now have a noodle factory, metal workshop, a tailor shop, carpentry facility, a notebook printer, a soap factory, poultry farm, a mobile repair shop, a color lab, and even a modern paint mixing facility. Local meat shop owners are now able to store their products in freezers. An FM radio station in Karbang has become popular all over the region. 
almost everyone seemed to have access to TV, mobile, and the internet. <laughs> They even have a medical clinic with a refrigerator to store vaccines and an x-ray machine. A dental clinic. The village is now able to run a computer center in a local school, none of which could have operated without the electricity that the micro hydropower plant provides. हमरे इस मेडिकल ले इस औरी परी राय का मानिस और ले सेवा दी रहे कुछ रा ऑलरेडी हमें साइले विद्युत को कारण ले गर्दा हरी एक्सरे तेस्ते कर रा लैब रा बैक्सीन और को व्यवस्था भाई रहे कुछ रा आगे मी दिन और में हमें और ले फेरी वीडियो एक्सरे रा साथे टेली मेडिसिन को व्यवस्था करने पे नहीं हमें और ल AEPC is also being recognized as a center for excellence regionally and internationally for promoting large-scale use of renewable energy. Altogether, eight clean development mechanism CDM projects, five biogas, one micro-hydro, one improved water mills and one improved cook stoves have been registered in the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCCC. In total, 1.2 million CERs have already been issued, with approximately US dollars 6.7 million generated as revenue till date. Despite all these efforts, around 25% of the population of Nepal still has no access to electricity. In rural Nepal, more than 75% of the total population still rely on firewood for cooking. Our rural women still spend an average of four hours a day to collect fuel wood. Every day, more than 20 Nepali, especially women and children, are dying due to indoor air pollution caused by the use of traditional cook stoves especially in the urban and peri-urban areas with grid electricity connection we are still facing long hours of power cuts due to inadequate generation shortages of energy all over nepal are causing serious hindrances to social and economic development of the country we have great challenges ahead and much work needs to be done before we achieve the desired impacts this requires synergistic efforts at all levels at AEPC, we believe that outreach to poor poor and marginalized communities is possible through attention, interest and commitment of wider audience to the renewable energy sector of Nepal. <laughs>